My trusty Land Rover is getting ready for a service. I will be in my workshop for some days. Which means I need a different type of vehicle to get around in. So, that means I have to take my second car. And it is, by all means, a worthy substitute. Welcome to one heck of a cool automobile. This 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. Sometimes you come across cars that just hits you and speaks to you. That happened with me after seeing the Californian racer Mike Meyer in his old blue Mustang. I completely fell in love with his car and I decided to build a replica. So when I was 23 years old, I bought this old Mustang as a project car and built it into this awesome hot rod that you see today. With wide 275 tires on all four corners and a lowered suspension, it really sticks like glue and handles like it is on rails. You just have to trust it around the corners and let the car sink into the turn and does its job. A juiced up small block V8 producing over 300 horsepower with plenty of torque. It is a fun little racer that belongs perfectly on these twisty back roads. Sure, it got some expensive performance parts on it, but the essence of this car is a slow buck as it gets. I sourced out parts from the agricultural world, like radiator hoses, from a David Brown tractor, and the blue paint is New Holland tractor paint. And not to forget a lot of the nuts and bolts that I used in this car. Originals from Honda snow blowers. But I wanted to build it this way, using what I had and could find from next to nothing. It be high quality and look great. It is simply unique and original, despite it's not my own design. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Maybe sunshine and maybe rain. But as for me, I'll wait and see. And maybe it'll bring my love to me. And you know another day, another day, just another day. I wanna live to share the love that only she can give. And if she don't, come on home. I pray the Lord will help me carry. And today I'm heading to a very special place, a secret meadow that I like to visit in the early summer months. And it should be in full bloom right now. 
So I just have to get into my uh, woodsman clothes. Then I will head into the forest and make my way to this beautiful meadow. This wonderful habitat has been a part of the Norwegian landscape for centuries. And it's a beautiful spot to watch wildlife and study flora, or to just simply relax in. This type of grassland is farmed the old traditional way, by using cattle to graze the grass, and less use of heavy machinery, which creates an abundance of wildflowers and insects. And it is a true botanist paradise. The buzz of the insects, the song of the skylark, and the rustle of warm air through the long grass is for me the sounds of a Norwegian summer. And it does a lot to your mind and soul. Many people seek the warmer climates to relax, like Spain, Turkey, or other tropical places. But I don't. I go to the meadow. Early summer months is for me one of the best times to be in the woods. There is an abundance of wild plants to be found. And today I want to go foraging for some, to put in a wild salad. I believe this is an extremely important skill to know, to be able to identify edible wild plants. Also for us men, not just for the women. And it's one of my favorite things to do. It's soothing and calms the mind. Using your favorite vehicle that you built yourself with your own hands to get to your favorite places and driving on beautiful twisted back roads. This is my idea of perfection, beauty and fun and I feel very privileged to be able to do so. This old car means a lot to me and I can't see myself selling it. It is such a part of me and will be for my future family as well. This car has been my symbol of freedom and creativity and hard, honest work. Whenever I feel like the world is against me, 
I get my Mustang out on these back roads and put the pedal to the floor. It makes you forget everything. Then you are the owner of your own world. Looking at this car is a simple reminder for me that everything that you set your mind to is possible. You just have to be brave enough to keep up what you ask for.